Hello and welcome to the Enjoy the Little Things in Life uh, Design Team video blog hop. This is a new video blog hop. We will be coming to you once a month with some um, tips and tricks and interesting projects to share with you. And this is mine for today. We are sharing some of our favourite retiring colours and retiring stamp sets. I have really enjoyed playing with Emerald Envy over the last couple of years but it is very soon about to retire and the stamp set I'm also using today is Pieces and Patterns. Um, it was a really fun set and when we were at our on stage um, gathering a couple of years ago in Amsterdam, Sarah, uh, Sarah Douglas and her husband presented this and honestly to I, I can honestly say it was probably the way they presented the set that had me falling for it. Um, they were just a hoot on stage. But I love this set. Um, it's great for really many occasions, as you say. You've got a thank you, enjoy, and a wild about you. It's with a little dinosaur. It's great for both young and old, really. So anyway, this is the card I'm showing you today. And I wanted to show you just this little um, diagonal um, cut off section here. So I'm using the pieces and pa sorry, it's not even called pieces and patterns. It is called pick a pattern DSP, um, but it coordinates with this set. And we've got some um, dinosaurs. We also have some um, camera um, patterns, some mushrooms, um, and all things that coordinate really with this. Anyway. I'm going to show you this one. So I'm starting with a base of Sahara sand, which is, as you can see, one of the colors in the DSP. And I'm going to get two sections um, cut and ready for you of the DSP. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer and I have um, a few little pieces of card cut out. I have my Emerald Envy and this measures um, 9 centimeters across and 13.3 centimeters in length and then both of these pieces of DSP measure 8.5 centimeters across so it's just a little half a centimeter around the edge uh, which is about half a centimeter is approximately a um, quarter of an inch so if you see these are going to go um, like so, but I'm just going to cut this off at an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, piece here and it's probably a little bit too long actually so I'm going to cut that down to about uh, nine centimeters. I should do ten. Then I want it approximately here. So I want my cut to be there. So I'm going to take the corner and I'm going to take it to roughly where about four and a half centimeters is and that's one and three quarter inches. And then I'm going to bring the tip up to two centimeters, which is about three quarters of an inch. I mean, these are very approximate. I'm not that fanatical about what it looks like in the end it's it's not an exact science really um, so that's really my cutting finished um so it's going to look about there yeah happy with that and then i'm going to take some twine and cover the join now i could have I could have had that maybe less of the pattern, more of the the um, green pattern, less of the dinosaurs, more green. Really depends how you like it. There's no, as I say, it's not an exact science. It's just down to an individual taste and preference. But that's the way I liked it. So I'm just going to get my snail and then just really adhere this all together. slight wastage that I haven't um, cut them both at an angle, tried to match that up, but really, oh, there's actually, that's one of the 
other patterns. Isn't that beautiful? But to be honest, if we were trying to cut them both at an angle and match that up, I mean, I'm not sure about you, but I really don't have time for that. That's just beyond my, uh, beyond my capabilities, I think, and beyond my patience. So taking um, just some black twine and I'm going to just wrap this around a couple of times just to make a little um, definition of where one pattern starts and the other one ends. And I'm going to uh, tie that in a small bow at one side. about with that till you're happy that it's in the right place and that your bow is just how you like it. My first one my uh, bow tails are quite short but I think I might leave these a little bit longer. And if you want to be totally sure that that stays exactly where it is you could um, add a little glue dot to secure that. Oops. Okay so that's that bit finished. I'm going to take my card base. First of all, I'm just going to score that. Um, for UK cardstock, we score it 10.5 centimeters, which is four and an eighth. But obviously, um, other cardstock are different measurement. Then um, you can see, but there's a little just um, patterned stamp here. It's almost maybe like scales or um, pebbles. I just thought it went quite well with the theme. So just doing some tone on tone stamping here. Um, the cardstock is Sahara Sand. So I'm using Sahara Sand ink and I'm just randomly stamping just around the edge of my card. Then I'm going to take the Hello There stamp and I'm going to use that beautiful emerald green. I have a little scrap of Whisper White cardstock. And because this is a solid stamp, I'm actually going to stamp uh, this way around just to make sure I have a perfect even coverage and stamp being straight down, straight up. Now for this, it is a, it's not a totally circular circle if you like, it's a little uneven. Um, and if I were stamping straight down flat onto a surface, I would leave it as it is. I quite like the shape. Um, but because I'm going to uh, raise it, um, I'm not sure personally for me, um, if it would look as good if I cut it, if I fussy cut it. So I'm actually going to just take a punch and punch that out. Pun the punch I'm using is also retiring. It's a one and three eighths punch. So I'm just going to punch that out like so. Then I am going to attach that with some dimensionals. This also helps um, your twine to stay in place because I'll put a dimensional above it and a dimensional below it. And then I like, I always like a bit of dimension on my cards. Um, I think it really does add a little bit of interest if everything's on different levels. Oh, this one doesn't want to come off. 
So I think, oh no, missed that one. Got them all out. Yep. Make sure we have it the right way around. There you go. Very quick and easy, um, but effective and fun card. Perfect for the young and the young at heart. I hope you enjoyed um, today's uh, video blog hop. Do hop along um, and see all the other projects that we have um, for you today. And I do hope you enjoy them and pop back again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.